children diagnosed with congenital heart defects are increasingly becoming adults with congenital heart defects. It's because our doctors have gotten so much better at treating these conditions. And some of the best in the world are right here at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. Dr. Michael Earing is here this afternoon to talk about that success, but also about how adults living with these conditions uh, still need treatment. Doctor, thanks for being here. Yeah, that's great. Well, this is interesting. What was the, well, first let's, let's define what we're talking about when we say sure. congenital heart defects. Well, sure. What are these conditions? Yeah, congenital heart defects are holes in the heart, leaky valves, tight valves that we're born with. And it's the number one birth defect. It's more common than any other birth defect that we see. And what's happened is, is with surgical and medical advances, now a child born with a congenital heart defect will survive to adulthood in 90% of cases. And prior to that, it used to be 20%. It's an amazing success story that we're dealing with, and it's a, it's a tremendous thing for science. And is that just because you've learned so much more about it, or the, the techniques in surgery are getting better, or all the yeah, above kind it's of? A great, it's a great point. It's over the years, the advances in research and our knowledge mm -hmm. base and understanding this has created this whole new population of adults with congenital heart disease that prior to 1955 we never had these patients and so now there's a huge number of them just in our state alone there's about 18,000 adults with congenital heart disease in the Milwaukee area that would be equal to a whole town of West Bend having a heart defect pretty a tremendous amount of patients that we're right. dealing with the good news is that you have these problems now though of that, that you haven't dealt with before which is you know this is something that you don't just cure or fix necessarily they're living with this still and they still need treatment so that's where you come in right you know these patients have special problems problems, unique problems that we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. And the problem is many of them lost a follow-up, they don't know where to go to get care, and they're not even aware that these problems exist. And that's where the adult congenital heart practice has developed, um, to bridge that gap between pediatrics and the adult cardiology world to take care of this special group of patients. So if somebody is seeking out that kind of information, they get in touch with you, and what sort of things can you provide for them? Yeah, we are a multidiscipline program. We are not just a physician, we are a group of nurses, multiple mm -hmm. physicians, testing surgery and everything to take care of this unique group. Um, if you you or somebody you know has had heart surgery as a child, they're at risk for problems in almost all the cases. Some are minor, some are major, but you should encourage them to at least have some follow-up on a regular basis. Great message. Thanks so much for being right. here. I could Thank talk you. to you about this all day, though. It's yeah, fascinating. It's really